Terry, during your tenure, you've had some highs and lows, and, and it feels like it's a, it's a reset right now. What gives you optimism about this group, especially in the backcourt? Well, I think it starts with the backcourt. I think at both ends of the floor for us. Um, first, the, the offensive end, I think we're going to have a better punch offensively with the backcourt, um, with more experience. Um, we have different uh, skill set, I think, that has improved. Ahmed comes in with uh, skill sets, shooting the ball. Uh, Chase has been able to uh, get a year under his belt and understand the importance of, in areas where he needs to improve offensively and then defensively. Uh, that's the area where we, we made strides in last year, definitely with our defense. This year, we have to continue to carry on and continue to grow in that area. I think that's the area where we got to get better at in order to put ourselves in position to win more games. So piggyback off of that, Chase and Ahmed, um, what do you see from your vantage point is in terms of ways in which this team, this program can take that next step? Um, I think as an advantage uh, for this team, as last year, nobody really was on that team last year and everybody doesn't know what it feels like to lose. Uh, so me personally, I uh, I come in with the mindset of uh, forgetting about last year and you know, coming in with a fresh mind, just like everybody else. So I think this year is about redemption individually for me and as a team. So uh, I, I like where we're at as a team right now. Ahmed, you bounced around, um, you know, from uh, Hawaii to Washington State to now Portland. Why is this the best fit for you? Just the way the way the team is set. Um, we have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And these kids, these guys on our team are all hungry, and and I'm just appreciative of that. And the way the way we the way we gel together as a team, the way we communicate on and off the court, I think we're going to be special. And we have a lot to prove with the rankings coming out, us being the last. I think that's going to motivate us this year. Terry, this has been a guard league. There's no question. What must happen in the front court, though, for this team to have the right balance to compete in the WCC for you know a higher standing in this in, in the division? The back court. Most of the teams in our conference has a pretty decent and strong back court. The separator of the game changer is the front court. The ability to rebound, rim protect, and score. And so those three areas are the areas where we're going to have to get our, our collective guys get together and uh, produce that, that at that level. Uh, I think, again, there was at times where we had guys show good uh, strengths in those areas last year, but I think important for us is have sustainability and consistency in those areas in order to, uh, you know, again, give us a great opportunity to be successful. And Ahmed, um, you know, in terms of, I know it's early, but what do you hope this team's identity will become? Uh, I just want us to be hungry every day, like just to grind. Uh, uh, like don't get too high on don't get too high on wins, don't get too low on losses. Like just stay level-headed all the time and just remain the course. I think um, our identity is going to be just toughness. That's the only way. I think that's the only way we could compete in this conference. To be honest with you, just out toughing all these, and we have the guys for it. What have you learned about what you must do to finish higher in the WCC? Well, there's a lot of facets uh, in the game that we got to do better at. You know, the first thing is, like I said, defensively, we got to be better defensive team. Uh, and that's got to be an area where we got to definitely, we made strides last year, but we even got to make bigger strides this year. And again, you know, last year, I thought we had moments where we really scored the ball well, and then we started having some injuries. Uh, what I like about this group, we have depth. So if somebody has to go down for a game or two, we're going to have somebody who can be next man up and willing to step up and can step up and provide the type of offensive punch we need and then we got to continue to score, like you said. Um, you know, we struggled to score last year, but I think the offensive pieces we put in together this year and the size and the athleticism and the ability to score three levels is really going to give us a good chance.